prick up your ears and get oriented. This is my political rap statement to all Americans. The colors of love paint us all brothers and sisters. Look into the eyes of our failing class of politicians. The lies are crass and the truth is missing. These aspirant leaders may once have been pious. Now, they singularly adjudicate and execute their lies to us. But enough of the population has realized that sections of our humanity are being hypnotized by fake Fox News signs. We need truth-seeking eyes to see the lies of those who were once lionized, those fallen party liners who urge to be canonized. Screens glaring with double-barreled Chiron signs crawling across brightly lit TVs in double time, sharing, ensnaring, bi-directional, multi-colorful, anti-cultural. Opinion journalists are great at overwhelming our critical thinking, faking us out with head nods and eye-winking, preying on the availability of the insane, the depraved, or the loneliness of the elderly. They illustrate, they postulate, the evangelicate, Facebook, face group, Foxbook, fake Zuckerberg. We are perturbed. You have lorded over our persons who are mentally disturbed through algorithmic, synchronistic, psychometrically targeted Machiavellian marketing businesses. To those who exhibit sadistic types of personality are fodder for the hyper-focused demographic demagoguery. Now enough of lethargy. The people we must break this spell on our fellow Americans. Rebuild trust while we restore the respect of the Puerto Ricans. We are an immigrant nation who has been killing the natives, importing humans from faraway places, and killing them too, decimating their once smiling faces, enforcing white racism. Plantation amnesia conveniently avoids confrontation of the actions of the ancestors of this young nation. Factions of oppression who ran horsehair whips up and down the black man's necks, their backs, their legs, their arms, their necks. These are the charges. And if you question the marks on the slave with question marks as to where from they came and question the hearts of those who bear the marks, you question the parts of us who created this slavery trade. The Republican electorate wears no clothes. Their would-be emperor bears his amoral balls. There's a Trumpster fire this country is in. See, 45 believes the convention was his coronation, the declaration of his dominion over this King Kong kingdom, his red-hot opportunity for excoriation. This not-yet-but-soon-to-be ex-con colonialist has been ruling our corona-addled, gone viral nation. Conspiratorially conspicuous citizen vultures prey of the I won't see of the Nazis not so distantly in the past. Their conspiracy theorists play persecution games on immigrants like Hitler's purists who cannot see how the Nazis game the system, stealing their symbol from Tibetan Buddhist wisdom. The entangled, angled lines, it meant hope and joy and endlessness of time to their religion. Then Hitler's occultist beliefs stole its meaning and rebranded it the swastika for the Germans. A whacked out white supremacist Holocaust denier has lack of direct experience on their side now. Who is the one who pulls triggers on long guns? Gunpowder with black powder. Wannabe malicious minions are cloak and dagger carpet baggers. Who are you to deny any man, woman, or future child their viewing powers. These concomitant issues run constant in Lady Liberty's worldviews. Lady Liberty's multicolored eyes are wide. Her tears saturate the tissues. Who is on whose side, she cries. Is this how Liberty dies, she sighs. British Nigel Farage assisted in the WikiLeaks barrage. Julian Assange a journalist's worst reportage. Let him answer to the gods for wholesale Russian oligarchs. We have all let this go on for too long. The American experiment hijacked into wrong, allowing this con enough. The vibration shift.
it's rough and tumble. But this is the end of it. The trouble will be humbled. Waveform into matter. Manifest destiny was our forefather. Principled manifestation is the new power. The love in the room is the only color.